sweet man. Trays up, please, sir. Young man, if I don't get out of here alive, will you see that my wife gets this? Of course, sir. done his job in the first place. None of this would have happened. It's typical of him. Typical. The first sign of real responsibility and he throws in the tower and leaves everyone in the lunch. Ben! Grab your things, Trisha. I'm taking you out. No. I've got a duty to my guests. I've got to look after their safety. There's only one man I know who can deal with these terrorists. And he is? And he is doesn't work here anymore. He's gone back to Cyprus. So who? So who opened a takeaway in Croydon? I'm talking about you, Ben. Me? You honestly expect me to outwit the terrorists, save the president, and rescue the guests single-handed? Oh, yes, Ben! Yes! Oh, God! Yes, Ben! Are you coming, Trisha? Not till everyone's safe. You don't seem to realise who this man is. This is Radochek Ziegler. Not the same. The man who ruined my life. He's a murderous psychopath. And if he has the merest inkling that I'm here, we're all dead. <laughs> Your hands off him! And if you don't tell me where it is, you're a dead man. Well, what is it? I don't know what you're talking about. The food the president ordered from room service. Oh, the food? I'm sorry, I'll sort it out. I'll have it sent up straight away. You stay here. Go, okay? No. And no tricks. Or she dies. <laughs> I said no tricks. <laughs> Ten minutes, great Seattle. And then we're coming in. With more time, I could have put vents down the front. Right, let's do it. Oh, Ben, wait. I better put these on just in case. Damn! Your demands are too high, Ziegler. Nobody's gonna pay you that kind of money. You think not? 800 pounds for Park Lane with no hotels? Are you crazy? <laughs> Where's the girl? She sent me, sir. Breakfast? I'm starving. Thanks, kid. This is for you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Wait. I don't think so. It must have been someone else in that cabin in Bosnia. Bosnia? Ben Carter, right? No, Ben Carter was the ranch boss of the lands it. That was my damn breakfast. Get Carter! Get him!
for the cavalry. No, Lieutenant, listen to me. I'm listening. Are you Larry Cogan? I sure as hell am. Not that it's any of your goddamn business. Well, how would you feel if it was your wife held hostage here? I'd pity the terrorists. Oh, come on, Cogan. You're not such a heartless bastard. Believe me, Graziano. Have you seen the things I'd seen over the years? I've seen some pretty terrible things myself, Lieutenant. Bosnia was no picnic. Yeah. Well, we had no picnic either this year, thanks to the goddamn rain. L Lieutenant, I'm begging you, please, I need more time. Damn it, Graziano. My job's on the line here. I got the mayor on my back, the chief bawling me out, and the DA trying to subpoena me. And I've got a bullet in my arm, and a hotel full of innocent people who will all die if you do anything stupid. Okay. You got an extra two minutes. my banker uh, I'm going to ask you one last time and if you refuse to answer I'm going to blow your brains into the middle of the week next Tuesday oh. now what's the password oh. still refusing the talk oh. okay you give me no choice are the victims ready good begin lemon meringue Oh. Let's go. Time's up, Graziano. I'm calling for backup. Sergeant, backup. Sergeant, Lieutenant Cochran, LAPD. Yeah. We got a 1019 down here at the hotel. I want troops and heavy artillery out here fast at warp speed. Have you got that? Right. That was the inspector. He says there's a 1019 in progress at the hotel. Right. So 1019. Such a shame you uh, feel unable to cooperate, Mr. President. However, I feel it is only fair that you should witness the outcome of your stubbornness. Now, how would you like them to die? One at a time? <clears throat> All together? Or would you prefer perhaps to start with the women? You filthy. Holly Doyle, Time Magazine. Mind if I take a picture? Smile, everyone. Thank you. Last chance, Mr. President. Wait. Radoshek, let me shoot him. Okay. But do it slowly so we can enjoy it. Oh. Stop! There's a new password every day. Can't always remember it, so I wrote today's down on a $5 bill. And the $5 bill? Where is it? I don't have it. The waiter. He gave it to the room service waiter. Carter. Right. Um, well, if that's everything, I'll just... Uh... And her. She's mine. I, I, 
As you can see, this is one of our most elegant rooms. Where's Carter? I don't know. Mr. Guilfoyle, in 30 minutes I intend to leave this hotel by helicopter. If I do not have the password by then, every guest in this establishment, every member of staff, including your good self, will have been annihilated. Now, I ask you again. Where's Carter? I don't know. I swear! No! Hey, that's good. Mind if I take a picture? Thank you. Why did you ask her? She's the one who's engaged to him. She's his fiance. Judas. You'd better hurry. It's getting to be a circus out there. Call him. Now. Tell him the girl dies if I don't get the five dollar bill. Ben. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Ben. Ziegler's got a gun at Trisha's head. If you don't give yourself up, he's gonna kill her. Then he says, he's going to massacre all the guests in a savage fury of homicidal carnage. He's going to butcher them. Butcher them like cattle in a slaughterhouse. Oh, he will, Hilton. Believe me. We better keep this between ourselves. We don't want to cause any panic. <laughs> Give it to me. Listen to me, Carter. You have something I want. I have something you want. I'm willing to trade. I hear you, scumbag. Let me talk to Trisha. Ben? Oh, thank God you're okay. Trisha, there's something I want to say to you, something I've been rehearsing for weeks. It's this. Eat fleur me couple of fleur. What are you trying to say? Trisha, I love you. I know. That was my mistake, I suppose. I never said those three little words. Call it machismo, call it stubbornness, call it whatever you want. Creosote? Whatever. But I've changed, Trisha, believe me. I see things differently now, and if we ever get out of this alive... Enough. Okay, what do you want? Five dollars, Carter. Five dollars and you can have your girlfriend back. Huh? It's the cheapest date you'll ever get. What are you talking about, Ziegler? The president gave you a five-dollar bill. Bring it to me, I swear everyone can leave the hotel alive. How do I know I can trust you? Let me put it another way. If you do not give yourself up in one minute, I will start killing the hostages, beginning with your beautiful girlfriend. Think, 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 think. Okay, Ziegler. It's a deal. Good. Come to the main lounge, unarmed, and I will finally bring your pathetic life to an end. Bring all the hostages in here. Okay, ma'am, we're going in. Kowalski, get your ass through the back door now. It's Watkins, sir. The back door is locked. Then ring the doorbell, dumbass. Who's in charge here? I am. Lieutenant Cochran, LAPD. Agent, how are you? CIA. Agent, I'm fine. Agent, all right. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. I thought he was on fine. I am. He's how are you? Are you all right? I'm fine. I thought he was on fine. He is. All right. You win, Ziegler. Release the hostages. Ah, oh, Mr. Carter. 
We meet again. But only briefly, I'm afraid. Goodbye, Mr. Carter. Ben! There's been another change of plan, Ziegler. Drop your weapons, or say goodbye to your five dollars. Wasn't the deal, Carter? I don't do deals with low-life scum like you, Ziegler. Drop them! Okay, Trisha, let's go. No, Ben, look out, it's a trap! <laughs> Friend of Dave's. Of course. A password that gets you in everywhere. Activate Black Forest Gato. We're in. And now we can nuke any country in the world at the touch of a button. Take your pick. Russia, China, Iraq? I think we'll start with Australia. <laughs> Vice President Putz. What? Oh, my God. Okay, okay, I'll be right over. What is it, dear? What's happening? Some lunatic's threatening to nuke Australia if we don't give him a hundred million dollars. Australia? Faster! The chopper will be here any minute. Well, I'd just like to say how glad I am that everything worked out so well for you in the end. I suppose you'll be releasing the hostages now. What? Well, we did make a deal after all. <laughs> and you believed me? <laughs> Fool. Okay, okay. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe we don't need to worry so much about the hostages. I mean, that's entirely up to you. But uh, what about me? I helped you, remember? No. Sorry. My memory is very selective. Oh, Mr. Ziegler, I'm begging you. Spare me. I could be very useful to you. Useful? You? A hotel manager? Oh, well, I'm possibly relocating to Thailand. It's a fabulous hotel. You could come and stay. Bring your charming girlfriend. I'll give you very preferential rates. Upgrade you to a suite. Let's go. I think I'll keep your girlfriend as a souvenir. <laughs> Boris. Kill them. Start with him. Legs first. <laughs> nice one, Henry. Hey, 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 hey. Damn it, I thought he was I fine. For the last goddamn time he is, all right? What the hell was that? Three on fire. You might hit the president.
Ziegler, drop your weapon. I don't think so. Drop the gun! <laughs> Gentlemen first. Excitement for you? Almost. Well, Ben, we all owe you an enormous debt of gratitude. You're a very brave young man. Just doing my job, Mr. President. Poor Bob. I would have never had him down as a traitor. I suppose it's a lesson for all of us. We can never be too careful in life. Would you mind if I take a last group shot of the happy ending, Mr. President? Why, sure, Polly. Come on, folks, gather around. He have got himself one hell of a Polyville exclusive here, wouldn't you, sir? You better believe it, sir. Smile, everybody. Unusual for Air Force One to develop a fuel line phone. And that someone is in this room. Oh, the nearby hotel and country club. Oh, and Doyle, I... remember? White House confidant for a nice. There seems to be a traitor among us. Off the record, of course. Off the record, off the record. Off the record. Off the record. Off the record. What the hell? She made one mistake, Mr. President. She didn't read this week's issue of Time magazine. Time reporter Polly Doyle is critically ill in hospital following a bizarre hedge trimming accident. It can't be. If you're not Polly Doyle, who are you? Ahmed Ben Hassan, master of disguises. Wanted for anti-American terrorist activities all over the world. You're a traitor, Mr. President. Damn you, Carter! Nice work, Graziano. You make a pretty good team. Couldn't have done it without you, Lieutenant. <laughs> ben, are you all right? I'm fine. I thought he was on fire. I am! I'm He's Agent I'm Fine! I'm not gonna stop this. Agent I'm Fine! This is I'm Fine! LT, don't start all that again! 
You've lost him. Hey! Oh, come on, guys! What are you doing? We got trouble. 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 Right here in this hotel. In this hotel. We got trouble. We got trouble. We got trouble. We got trouble. Woman go. Oh, thank God. Oh, 